Hey guys, welcome back to more Band of Brothers. We're up to episode five, so that means we are halfway there. This is only a 10 episode mini series, and I'm already feeling sad that we are halfway through it. I think there are books and also a documentary about the boys, the soldiers. So I'm really, really looking forward to diving into that once I'm finished watching the series. I'm so looking forward to seeing the interviews with the real soldiers, learning their stories and getting to know them even better. I've loved everything so much so far. Looking forward to this one. So let's get watching. Seemed like he always made the right decisions along the way. Winters? Some of the officers, uh, I don't think I would follow them in the water. Wow. But uh, he was he was one of the best. I don't know how he survived. <laughs> wow. But he did. That's amazing. They have to be talking about Winters. Part five, Crossroads. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh! October 17, 1944. We're in Holland still. Come on, something's upstairs. Orders. Okay, go ahead. I'll be right down. Let's go. Come on, you got <laughs> ten minutes. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, that's my own piss, for Christ's sake! Oh! Whatever's going on, Sink is not happy. Guess the British lost 8,000 men when Market Garden fell on its ass. Dutch resistance are harboring 140 of my chaps here. Pick a team from Easy Company and get them back across the Rhine as fast as possible. I haven't seen your endorsement on the Market Garden after action. I'll have them in CP 1300, sir. And I want an inventory and whatever material the British 43rd left behind. An inventory, yes, sir. Still waiting to write citations on that 5 October operation. I need your report. The report, yes, sir. Well, he's busy. Company combat action. New guys giving the replacements the what for and why is. I swear one of them was never shaved. Kids. This is a hell of a dog, Tab. What you call it, Tab? Trigger. Of course, I like that. What's the name? Trigger. It's all quiet. We got penetration! Get him on the table. Oh, gosh. Yes, Allie. Where was it? Crossroads. Where the world crosses a day. Lift and assemble me a squad. Yes, sir. First squad on your feet! All right, let's get this done quickly. We gotta move. As if he doesn't have enough work and stress, he has to write all these reports too. Where the hell are they shooting at? Regimental headquarters. But that's three miles away. Why are they giving away their position? Hmm. Hold here. Wait for my signal. What are they shooting at? Whew. There has to be something there if they're shooting. What are they Start doing? Back position here. Mortars deploy here. First squad on me. I can hear the Germans. So the parts where he's typing, that's at the end of the day, right? After he's done all this and he's got to do his report. What? Second on the right. First on the right, second on the left, first on the left. That's amazing. So they've I all see. got, they've all got someone to go Here. for. Oh. Wow. Jeez, oh, that's lucky. How many crowds left up there? I don't know. It seems like there's quite a few left though. Ooh. solid roadway embankment. They can have flank us along the dike and catch us out here as soon as they figure that out. So how many crowds are we talking about? Look at me whole battalion as far as I know. Mm. 
You'll take ten men along the dike. Peacock, you'll take really? ten men along the left flank. I'll take ten up the middle, so follow me. Go. Oh, no. That is risky. I'm worried. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still doing this. Want drinking? <laughs> no, I didn't. Your footlocker. Why don't you just give it up? Drinking. The drinking. Because no. Winters doesn't drink. I'm hiding it in my footlocker. You're a captain for Pete's sake. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe this is a perfect place to stop drinking. Cheers. <laughs> Dick, you know, that's not literature. You just keep it simple. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. That's full. Go out the red smoke. I love that we can still see some of the um, replacements from the last episode as well. They're knee deep in it now. Oh, here we go. No, wait, oh, wait for the signal. Hang on, what if it it's failed though? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. What if that failed and he said wait for the red smoke and it just took so long? He is so far ahead though. I'm not really sure why he ran so quickly. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. Oh no, watch out. Dude. Are the other guys aren't even there yet? Was that a deliberate strategy? Fuck. Holy shit! Oh, okay. It's a whole other company! Oh, shit! <laughs> yep. Fire concentration, Charlie! Crouch in the open! Fire for a fight! He's telling me that they're Polish. Don't you believe it? Move! Come and see here. Whatever he's typed now, it was hard for him to type. Jesus, Captain. They're SS. Joe, knock it off. Damn it, what? You're bleeding. Uh, that's nothing, Cap. I want you to take these prisoners back to Battalion CP. Get yourself cleaned up. Drop your ammo. What? Drop your ammo. You kidding me? What are you doing? Give me your weapon. Oh. Yeah. So he doesn't kill him. Johnny, how many prisoners do we have? We've got 11 right now, sir. You drop a prisoner, the rest will jump you. I want all prisoners back at Battalion CP alive. Wow. They got me. You believe that? You believe I said that? <laughs> Can you make it back to CP? Yeah. Now, we were lucky, though. Only 22 wounded. Lucky? Yeah. Captain Winters? Right down there, sir. All right, carry on. Hmm. That is so much work in that 22 wounded huh one killed who dukeman dukeman wow you're looking at two full companies of ss out there that's not bad for dukeman you got a drink of water uh -huh. <laughs> yeah it's water <laughs> Battalion got the hell beat out of him. Ollie Horton was killed. Major Horton's dead. Wow. How'd you feel about handling the battalion? Sir? Oh. I'm moving you up to executive officer, second battalion. Wow. Well, I know I could handle them in the field, sir. You're a solid tactician and a good leader. Don't yes. worry about administration. Wow, that is huge. Who do you think would be taking over easy, sir? Moose Heiliger can command easy company. Lieutenant Heiliger would be my choice, sir. I liked having him here with Easy, but this is a huge Thanks, step bro. forward right. for him. Finish your novel yet? <laughs> it's a lot of homework. And I thought executive officer was supposed to be a fun job. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Zelensky's my orderly. <laughs> orderly, huh? I suppose you do stuff like get coffee. Can do, sir. Wow. No sugar. And a bacon oh. sandwich. You want something? 
Bacon sandwich. Operation Pegasus is set to go off. I thought I might give you the heads up. Everybody know their job? Colonel Doby knows his stuff. Mm. Know how many times you want to cross a river? If there really are 140 Brits in hiding over there, three trips. Speed is the key. Keep moving and lead the way. Dick, easy's in good hands. Yeah. He's worried about them. Oh, if uh, they do run into any trouble, you let me know. You run into any bacon sandwich, do the same, all right? Although I love that he's had that promotion. I feel that he is finding it very difficult to let go of being in charge and protecting his boys because he does care about them so much. I wouldn't even be surprised if he requests to be put back into charge of Easy Company. The Brits are on the way past the word. Sir, you missed a signature here. It's all just paperwork. It's not what he wants to be doing. He's worried about his boys. We're ready to go, sir. Where's the rest of you? Well, let's go. Moose Heiliger and the American 101st have done the Red Devils a great service, making it possible for us to return and fight the enemy on another day. Yeah. To easy company, victory, and Kurahi! <laughs> It was only Easy CO for four months, Moose. Before that, it was Mian's company. Before that, Sobel's. Yeah, but you're the only combat commander they've ever known. You know where they came from. You know what they've been through. Mm. Halt! It's Moose! Oh! Hold your fire! Oh! Okay, buddy. Oh, my God. Stay away, on me. Stay away, on me, Moose. Here, look at oh. my... Several Lieutenant Wells, now! I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I oh, God. That Trisha! is terrible. Are you giving morphine? Yeah. How much? Oh, I can't remember. Three cigarettes, oh. maybe? Yeah. Jesus Christ, were you trying to kill him? I'm sorry, Doc. It was a good thing he a big man. He was in a lot of pain, Doc. We didn't know what to do. Yeah, well, you ought to. You know, you are officers, you are grown-ups. You ought to know. I think they deserve that dressing down. They should know how many syringes they've given someone, even in such a stressful situation. There's a Sergeant Garnier here to see you. Look oh. what the train brought in. Hey, the Daredevil. <laughs> hey, Captain. Welcome back, Bill. Jesus, it's true. I never thought I'd see you behind a desk, sir. <laughs> someday you'll sit behind it. Got a letter for you here from Moose. Lieutenant Heiliger, sir. He's okay. He's recovering, but it's going to be a long haul. Whoa. Thanks, Bill. Well, uh, let's just go find some trouble. Hey, Bill. Sir. No more joyriding, right? Anybody ever heard of a little joint called uh, Lulu's? I'll just ask around. <laughs> so good to see Garnier back. I'm glad he's doing better. What's that, a piece of paper? I don't want to see another piece of paper. <laughs> General Taylor has flown back to Washington. He's left General McAuliffe in charge of the division. What are you telling me? You, my friend, are headed to Paris. It's been decided that you need a little dose of civilization. Wow. You know, I don't think that he really wanted to go. <laughs> Look, I think he's just going to go home. He's just going to go back. Oh, whoa. This is, would be so hard to deal with. Monsieur, c'est le terminus. Le train s'arrête ici, on doit tous descendre. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? What do you think? I'm trying to watch this. I've seen this movie 13 times, okay? <laughs> well, I haven't, so shut up. Here's your 60 bucks aboard. Mm. You're paying me back? A tip. Huh? Jesus! No! Shut up. Shut up. Hey, Buck. How are you feeling? I've seen this before. <laughs> Buck. Is that any good? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is he okay? Got a penny. <laughs> Got a penny? Oh. Come on. Here we go. Elements of the 1st and the 6th SS Panzer Division broken through in the Ardennes Forest. All officers report to respective HQs. All passes are canceled. Damn, what a day. <laughs> 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 
Colonel Strayer has not yet returned from some wedding that he's attending in London. Can you believe that? We're going to the front here, and our CO isn't even in the same damn country. You have men returning to action without proper cold weather clothing and not enough ammo. I suggest you take your canvas of the entire base. Get what materials you have before you roll out. What about ammo? There is no more ammo. Distribute it amongst the men as best you can, so at least everybody has something. If they didn't have Captain Winters telling them all that, it wouldn't have happened. I want to know where they're sending us. What the hell are we supposed to do with no ammo? You got any ammo, Junior? <laughs> uh, just what I'm carrying. You got extra socks? A pair. You need four minimum feet, hands, neck, balls, extra, extra socks, socks, balls, and balls. Yay, we all remember that one. Yeah. I didn't remember the socks. No How about got some one. smokes then? Yeah, I, I got some smokes. Oh, now oh, you're talking. Hey, 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 Sure, we ain't in hell. It's too damn cold. It must be absolutely freezing. And yeah, they don't have, they're not in cold weather gear. That's just so cold. Welcome to Belgium. This area's known as Bastogne. Seven roads leading in, seven roads leading out, which makes wow. it ideal for crowd armor. So we're gonna put a perimeter around Bastogne, dig in tight as a tick. Sir, we're a little short on ammunition. How short? Mm. There was a limited supply in camp, sir. What the hell is going on? Hey, pal, hey. what happened? Where are you going? They came out of nowhere. They slaughtered us. You gotta get out of here. We just got here. Give me your ammo. Take it. You'll need it. Oh my God. Okay, they're walking into something that they're not prepared for. Give me your ammo. Give me your ammo. You got ammo. You got kids. You got any grenades? Scrounging ammo and grenades. My goodness. We got grenades. Make a hole, hey! Make a hole. Oh, is that ammo? ammo? Yes. Lieutenant, you're a godsend. It was an ammo dump, so here. The crowds had tigers, panthers, SPs, stukas. Looks like you guys are gonna be surrounded. We're paratroopers, Lieutenant. We're supposed to be surrounded. <laughs> Good luck. Mm. Thanks. Paris. So far from where he was before. Easy Company moved into the woods near Bastogne without any artillery or air support. It was short of food, ammunition and lacked winter clothing. Farthest from your mind is the thought of falling back. In fact, it isn't there at all. And so you dig your hole carefully and deep and wait. Karahi scrapbook of the 506 PIR. So do we get to see what happens there in the next one? I'm very, very interested if that's how it continues on to go in there with no air support such limited ammo that's going to be amazing to see how they pull through from that again guys another amazing episode they just it's just getting better and better <laughs> i loved the earlier episodes but now now that we're halfway through i'm really beginning to feel so much more comfortable with this incredible group of soldiers. I am beginning to know them so much better, beginning to love them. And I think that they are absolutely amazing. This episode really highlighted to me just how much of a good sergeant and, and leader Winters is. I always knew that he was incredible. But he has such a connection to his troops. He loves being there with his people, supporting his people. And that's where he belongs. He doesn't belong behind a desk typing a report. He belongs with his men. Something I also appreciate was Winter's compassion for that young German soldier that he killed when he ran over the the hill by himself he was in the lead of that charge i don't know if the others were just behind or winters was just so driven that he was way in front that german soldier was so young he didn't even have a weapon in his hand and he winters just had to he just had to do it unfortunately in war there's many things that you don't want to do but you have to do and that moment is still haunting him and probably would haunt him for a very long time. 
I love this one. This one was so, so good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm looking forward to more. As always, it's such a wonderful, wonderful show. And I'm so glad to have you with me as we watch more. So get ready for the next episode, episode six. Really excited. Can't wait. I'll see you guys there. Bye.